Good morning, I'm Jerry. Welcome back to the Electric Valentines. We've got some news on two releases that happened at the end of last month, one for Open Pilot, the other for Sunny Pilot. Specifically, Open Pilot has released its version 0.10.1, and Sunny Pilot, after a long rewrite, has released its first major release in about a year and a half, uh, Sunny Pilot 2025.001.000. So if you're into OpenPilot, comma 3X uh, and ADAS, buckle in and we'll get right into it. First up, we have OpenPilot's new release of 0.10.1, which comes with a brand new driving model, the North Nevada driving model. The world modeling on North Nevada is stronger. It allows the model to infer localization from image data rather than relying on global localization inputs. In addition to that, they've switched from QT over to Raylib. This change results in fewer lines of code, faster boot times, about four seconds faster, and lower power draw as well. Among some other changes, the autoencoder compressor now uses image modeling with masked autoencoding, as well as switching to a vision transformer. And the world model size has doubled, with training data also increasing by quite a bit, going from about 400,000 segments to 2.2 million segments. That's all from more platforms, more countries, more routes. In addition, Comma continues to add support for more vehicles in this release, adding support for some Honda and Acura vehicles specifics down in the description below. So definitely some great things in this update, especially with the jump from uh, QT to Raylib. Hopefully that continues to see more benefits uh, within the UI in the future. But if you wanna learn more about this 10.1 update, there is a link to Kama's blog down below. Feel free to check that out. Now moving over to Sunny Pilot. Uh, Sunny Pilot has been in a major rewrite for the past year and a half or so to align it with Kama's new OpenPilot code base and they have finally completed at least the first part of that rewrite with the release of Signing Pilot 2025.001.000. Now, while it doesn't have all of the cool features that past versions of Sunny Pilot has had, it does include most of the favorites, including MADS, uh, Speed Limit Assist, Dynamic Experimental Control, and a new driving model manager, which organizes driving models within folders, allows you to choose which driving model you want to use, favorite, your different driving models, so that's definitely a great feature that I use quite a bit on Sunny Pilot. I'm currently on Down to Ride V6, uh, waiting to see if there is a driving model that gets released that tops that for me, but there's a bunch of really cool models to try out, which I highly recommend you do if you install this release version of Sunny Pilot. Also included in this update are some new UI enhancements, including the developer information you can see in my UI right there. We've got some new model and AI infrastructure, new control system enhancements, as well as just kind of laying down the technical infrastructure to continue to add new features to Sunny Pilot into the future, including just a more modular approach in general to how those features get added. So I'm curious to hear, are you currently using OpenPilot 0.10.1 or are you on the latest release version of Sunny Pilot? Let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of the latest features? Are you using Sunny Pilot Speed Limit Assist? Unfortunately, that's not available for us on the Rivian currently. So I'm very curious to see what your feedback is on that. Just a reminder, I'll also be heading out to Comic-Con, not Comic-Con, but Comic-Con this weekend. So follow the channel for more live updates and videos from that. As always, I appreciate your support for the channel. Please like and subscribe and enjoy the drive.